What's happening, folks? Gerald here, aka J from 90, coming at you with another reaction, bringing back to the channel Natalie Cole and bringing to the channel Natalie Cole's biggest hit, the, what this generation would probably call the freaking E Harmony song. <laughs> this will be, which is a phenomenal song. Um, it's funny, this, like I said, this generation probably knows it as the E Harmony song. I knew it as the Parent Trap song because it was the closing credits from the Parent Trap, which is when I probably first heard this, but, um, loved it right away. And I love the history, the story that comes with it too. But, you know, I know that this is the song that established Natalie Cole right out the gate as a debuting artist. So, um, but I've never seen a performance of her in this time of her career doing this so i figure we gotta do another natalie i'm the next one coming up i was a good i was originally gonna do this one but i didn't like the footage that i got um sophisticated ladies so that one's coming next but right now we're gonna do the big hit with this will be but before i get to it i need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and now without further ado this is natalie cole performing this will be live Midnight special, all right. church right there. I like that startup like this. This will be an everlasting love. This will be the one I've waited for. This will be the first time anyone has loved me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad you found me in time. And I'm so glad Y'all know how much I'm loving this look. The afros. The, my eyes light up when... Why Why aren't I wearing an, a mega afro? Because they take a lot of work to get them. <laughs> so, they look so good. They look so good. And then beyond the hair, of course, the costumes and everything. And loving it. Digging it. Absolutely. You brought a light sunshine into my life. You filled it with evidence I Wait, what are they doing sitting down? I don't like that angle. What is, don't don't show me them being born in the audience there. They if they how are they not standing? This is nuts. They are killing me.
snap at least. Phenomenal. I think I might like that more than the recording. I, the midnight special, would y'all please release the audios of y'all's performances? Because I swear everyone brought their A game to the midnight special. And that that was incredible. That was, I, I think I might like that more than the recording. Because, um, yeah, those background singers. <laughs> perfect. Per perfect. It was a perfect performance. And Natalie just, I love I love seeing her so young and so full of energy. Even in her older years, in my lifetime, with seeing her perform, she always had a great energy about her. But it's something about seeing her then as, you know, the she's the new girl. And then it's some, the story of that song is pretty amazing in that it was created for Aretha. Aretha got it. She did not like it at all. And then I think it made the rounds through a few more people, but Aretha was first. It was created in mind for her and all the things that and you can hear it. You can so hear it. And Natalie Cole accepted it or she she got it. She did it. And it became this monster hit at a time in Aretha's career where she needed a monster hit. And hers would come in its own with the soundtrack for Sparkle. And this song, well, they were nominated together for a Grammy, and Natalie beat her out of it. And Aretha felt a ways about Natalie for years, but this, it's silly because this could have been this could have been your song and your moment, but you know. And so I don't. I was like, no, you, that was on you, Riri. I, you know, y'all know Riri is my girl now. But you know, that that's my. It's like that she wasn't always right. Didn't, didn't always do everything right. But um, you know, this it would have been great. It would have been great if it were to read the song. But it is great as an Ali Cole song. And I really wish that at some point they would have duetted they would have done a duet version of this at some point in their lives because they did become friends in the 90s and they did have a better relationship and all that in the 90s. But Aretha held this over Natalie for a minute from what I've heard and understood. I don't know the factual facts and all that. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this reaction. I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you'd like to follow me on social media, that's in the description below. If you'd like to tip me, sponsor a request, just plain donate out of the kindness of your heart. That is also in the description below. It would be very much appreciated. You can also join me on Patreon. Become a patron on Patreon. On there, you're going to get benefits like early access to videos like these, Patreon-only videos like these, and then also occasionally extended videos like these. And then just lastly, thank you all so much for even taking the time to push play on this video today. It means so much to me and it goes such a long way. And beyond everything else, please take care of yourself and each other.